The International News Net World Report is a national television news show available in more than 30 million homes. We broadcast daily real news the networks won't tell you. We are solely viewer supported. That means you. You can donate at our website, innworldreport.net. We hope you find the following interview informative and helpful. We're joined with Wayne White, who's a, a fellow at the Middle East Institute in Washington, D.C. Formerly, he was the head of Middle East and South Asian intelligence at the State Department. Wayne, we're very grateful to have you with us today. Uh, my pleasure. Wayne, first of all, give us your assessment of what's going on in this debate about the surge. We had yesterday the Comptroller General of the, Gen uh, of the General Accounting Office present the uh, much-debated report of the GAO that essentially says that only three benchmarks out of 18 have been met. The Bush administration in July said eight have been met. Where are we at on all this? Well, the, the, whole, the debate has become very fractured. Uh, and, in fact, with many of the administration's uh, critics not getting it, uh, correctly. Uh, effectively, there is substantial success out in Al-Anbar, Diala, Salahadin Governate, uh, even in some neighborhoods in Baghdad and a little bit of the south, with respect to working with Sunni Arabs against the, uh, the Al-Qaeda in Iraq and other vicious jihadis. Uh, there's no questioning that where a lot of people sort of on the democratic side of the field are trying to minimize the significance of that, and, and really it has been extraordinary, and no one ever would have thought uh, that we uh, would have gotten uh, this uh, ability to operate against al-Qaeda in Iraq so effectively with the help from Sunni Arabs who were previously our, uh, our enemies. Uh, the, the place that where it goes wrong for people on the other side of the political spectrum is the presumption that this means it's progress, then sort of on a linear uh, in a linear manner, can be extended to other areas of Iraq. And that is absolutely false. This is limited to Sunni Arabs. Uh, and frankly, once the Sunni Arabs uh, have finished the job with us, if we get to that point, of crushing al-Qaeda in Iraq, these people, the most bitterly anti-occupation in the country, and, and fiercely opposed to the Shia-dominated central government, will want us out uh, and if we don't leave, we will see more violence resume uh, in these areas. This is why General Odierno uh, just a few weeks ago mentioned that in the context of troop withdrawals, whenever they should occur, uh, of pulling out of certain areas of Al-Anbar uh, once they're stabilized. Because he knows that these people will turn on us if we don't leave after finishing the job you know, with Al-Qaeda. This is very transitory. Uh, it is not something that means it's going to be success down the road. In fact, on the political side, basically on these report cards, there should be an F in every possible category. Mm -hmm. The central government is utterly dysfunctional and, in fact, has been un un unremittingly hostile to what we're doing with these Sunni Arabs yeah. uh, because yeah. it assumes that the more Sunni Arabs organize, get guns, whether we give them to them or not, they're getting them, from their own sources, and join security forces where they gain access to arms uh, and training, the harder it will be for Shia in a civil war, which many of Iraqis expect just as much as uh, experts uh, back here, uh, that'll be, they will be that much more robust in their ability to keep Shia militias from uh, ethnic cleansing a large mixed areas of the country. Now, we have uh, the Petraeus and Crocker report next week, and some have observed that partly what's occurring here is that this, this report will essentially give uh, ammo to uh, Bush to essentially uh, quiet the Senate and the House to avoid a split in the Republican Party and essentially uh, aim to April 2008, where, whereas we know that will be the time when they may have to draw down the 20 brigade surge anyway. Uh, but what do you make of the sort of debate going on back and forth, the tit for tat? Uh, some, for example, they point out in August, the uh, people in Baghdad, that the GAO report ignored the fact that there's actually a diminution of civilian dead. Uh, in, and they said it's reduced by about half. 
Yet the people countering that have said, well, look at all these uncounted bodies that have been on the streets. And then one thing I find very interesting is that the uh, Republican defenders or defenders in general of the administration policy do not answer the fact that about there in the spring there was a half million internally displaced Iraqis, now there's 1.2 million, which uh, tends to uh, reinforce the idea that ethnic cleansing is on big time. What do you make of all that debate? Well, yeah, I think watching how Iraqis react is critical in assessing these developments. In fact, not only are there more displaced now, because Iraqis, with good reason, expect massive, massively more heavy uh, uh, ethnic, ethno-sectarian strife, if not civil war, um, there have been these reports of people going back. And that seemed to buoy up uh, some of the supporters of the administration for a while until uh, some reports came out just recently indicating that, no, the people going back only go back to pick up what possessions they have left, check on their property to see if, you know, anyone has stolen uh, things, and then they go right back to the displaced uh, area that they came from. They're, no one's going back. They know that the situation is extremely, uh, extremely bad. Uh, overall. And with respect to the violence uh, against uh, the civilian population, it has fallen off uh, in, in, main, in large measure because the third simply occupied a lot of the areas of Baghdad in a, and in around it where the Shia militias were operating. Well, again, as long as the, we're there, it's going to be way down. And when we leave, it's going to go way up again.